All right, welcome back, Calculorians, to another edition of Choose Your Own Adventure. Today we are going to do the classic Valentine problem where we prove that given a function, a quadratic function specifically, to find the instantaneous rate of change of any value of x on that function, uh, it will be that shortcut. Um, so I was given in this problem f of x is 49x squared plus 531x minus 8,670. I'm going to prove that f prime of x is 98x plus 531. So to get going here, I'm going to say the limit as h goes to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x all over x plus h minus x, my change in y over my change in x, the slope of the secant line. So I'm going to work this out and I'm going to plug in my f of x. So I'll have a 49 x plus h squared plus 531 x plus h minus 8670. And I am going to subtract the f of x. So I just plugged in the x plus h into f of x, and I'm going to subtract f of x. So at this point, I'm going to say minus 49x squared minus 531x plus 8,670. And this is all over x plus h minus x. So this is all over an h. I'm going to slide that back over. OK. So from here, I'm going to keep doing some algebra specifically some math magic and do some simplification because if I plug in h is zero right now, I end up with zero over zero, which I know is telling me to do more work. So I'm getting back to work. So the limit as h goes to zero, I'm gonna foil out x plus h times x plus h. And because I am a math magic master, I know this is x squared plus two xh plus h squared Distribute the 531x plus 531h. And I'm going to get lazy here. I know I have an 8,670 negative plus a 8,670. So to save myself some time and money, I'm going to knock those two out. My h got a little nasty there. So now I've got minus 49x squared minus 531x all over h. So, moving on. I know when I distribute the 49x squared, I'm going to have a positive 49x squared minus a 49x squared. And just I know the way this game is played. I know other stuff is going to cancel out. Negative 531x plus 531x. So I'm going to go boom, boom. And also just kind of going back, when we're taking a derivative of a function, notice that constant knocks out. So a constant, the derivative of a constant just goes away, goes to zero. So distribute what's left. The 49 goes in there and I'm left with 98xh plus, oops, 49h squared plus 531h all over h. Now I'm at the point where I notice if I plug h is zero now, if I take that limit, I get 0 plus 0 plus 0 all over 0. So I know I haven't done enough. Still working. But I do see I can cancel an h from everything. So I have a limit as h goes to 0 of 98x plus 49h plus 531. And now I'm at the point, if I let h be 0, I am left with 98x plus 531, and that is my rate of change of the function f of x at any point. So if I want to know how anything is changing at x equals 0, 1, 92, negative 35, I can plug that into the derivative, and it will give me the instantaneous rate of change at that specific value on the function f of x. A big boom, happy face. I did my proof. I've done my magic. Well done. See ya.